Welcome back into North Dakota today. It's Friday, so we're busting out the liquor. There we go. <laughs> we have Evan joining us this morning from Bridgeview Liquor, and he's here to tell us all about their upcoming spirits class. I hope my last tea has left you guys hanging. <laughs> uh, but this is what I'm learning already. It's not mezcal, everybody. It's mezcal. Yeah, mezcal or mezcal. Um, it is a uh, Mexican spirit yeah. made from agave. It's related to tequila. Uh, except mm -hmm. that tequila can only be made from one type of agave, Blue Weber agave, oh. uh, whereas mezcal can be made from any of dozens of species of agave. Oh, okay. Okay. Keeping it in the family. So yeah, related to tequila, but not. <laughs> exactly, yep. Okay, You know, wow. like distant cousins. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us about the class and what yes, that entails. Absolutely. Uh, so we do our classes on Saturdays. I've got this one coming up a week from this Saturday. Okay. Uh, it's a little bit over an hour long, and in the class you get to taste uh, a lineup of different spirits, learn about them, discuss the flavors, aromas, mm. learn about how they're made, uh, what sets each spirit up apart from each other yeah. so that you can kind of evaluate what you like, what you don't like, and just dive deeper into the world of distilled spirits. Okay, so mezcal Love. itself, what kind of drinks would it be made with mezcal? Oh, you can do lots of stuff. A lot of stuff you can do with tequila. So oh, you okay. can make great, uh, like a margarita featuring mezcal. Ooh. It usually <laughs> has a smokier, fruitier flavor. Oh, okay. So it adds more depth. Uh, you can also add small amounts of a very smoky mezcal as an accent to a drink. Mm. Mm -hmm. You said margarita, and boy, were we on board. We are. Yeah. Um, we are excited. So let's pour some of these out. <laughs> yeah. Let, let's pour one and then let's get some smells and mm -hmm. just kind of, you know, if we were at the class, how would you describe these ones? So yeah, we've got the uh, Bagnes. Uh, oh. Everything that we're doing today is an ensemble, which means it's a blend of multiple types of agave. Oh. Uh, this one is Espadine and Barril. Uh, you'll notice more earthiness on this oh, one. I like the smell. Earthy, smoky. Uh, you might get some slight kind of citrus peel notes okay. to that one. For sure. Working. Ash, let's pass, pass that, that over. down. Yeah. Okay, wait. So should it be a swirl? And are we like? You <laughs> is know, this like wine? Do I, do I look it here for, at the the bottom, for the legs? So my so, yeah, temperature <laughs> doesn't change. <laughs> Unlike with uh, wine, you don't need to swirl it as much because of the higher alcohol. Oh, low no, you don't. <laughs> 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 when you uh, swirl a spirit like that, all you push up is the ethanol. So you get hit like that, and you go. Oh. Whoa. So actually, if you don't do anything like that, everyone. Oh, I'm, I'm going to swirl it extra. No, I'm just so <laughs> glad that I could be the student that does it wrong in class. You demonstrated it perfectly. Yeah, yeah, yeah very strong. I'm, I'm getting the hint of citrus. I loved it because, well, I just, I like wow. tequila, I should note. And so I liked it because sometimes you, you smell tequila or taste it and it's a little like, ooh, you know, it, it hits you a little mm -hmm. more. And that, just seemed, shake. that seemed a little bit softer. Sure, absolutely. And there's a wide variety in mezcal. Some of them are very in your face and some of them are kind of gentler and softer as well. Okay, and so what's this one again that you brought? Uh, this is Bañez. Uh, this is Bañez their uh, Espadine Barril blend. Okay. okay. And then this one's beautiful with our Yeah, yeah what's bar. that other one over there? So yeah, this is Mal de Amor. Uh, it it's translates. Yeah. yeah, it actually translates to heartache. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Mal de Amor. Heartache or heartburn in my life. Oh my god, same. Retweet. Retweet. <laughs> so this is a blend of two slightly rarer types of agave. Uh, Jordan slightly. knows that smell really well. <laughs> <laughs> Too well, too well. Absolutely. In fact, I maybe have frequented this a few times after that. Anyway. You'll find this one a bit more lifted. Mm, yeah. Uh, there's some floral, almost wet oh. clay is a note I get a lot with oh. this one. So I love it. But let us pass that down. Like Absolutely. I said, I enjoy I mean, these them are all just the descriptors I've never heard for types you know, of alcohol. You know, Mezcal is great. It's such a complex spirit. I would say it has the oh. widest range of yeah. different flavors you can detect in any distilled spirit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would say, like, in comparison, this one seemed a little softer, a little yep. easier, like, easier on the nose to smell. This one seemed a little, a little more pungent. Absolutely. This one's much brighter, much more powerful, um, bigger aromatics. Part of that's the agave, the cliche and tepezete are longer maturing plants, so they are more complex. Wow. And part of it's also going to be a really long, <laughs> slow, wild yeast fermentation. Okay, and so for this class you have coming up, uh, not this Saturday, but the next, the next one, Saturday, so the 29th, yeah. do you need tickets? Do you have to sign up? How yeah. does it work? Absolutely. You can get tickets. You can look up our Facebook page and go to our events tab, or you can go straight to Eventbrite. 
which is the ticketing website we use. Mm -hmm. uh, tickets are $30, okay. uh, but it's a great value because you get to sample usually six to seven spirits, oh, yeah. uh, hour-long class, in-depth dive on these things. I like to think it's a, one of the best values out there if what you want to do is try a wide range yeah. of stuff. Oh, for sure. Especially for with someone who knows their stuff, Evan. Yeah. That was incredible. <laughs> oh, my I know gosh, we were I on know. a time crunch, but I, we've learned so much It today. was great. Well, cheers. Thanks for coming on. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Yeah. Cheers. Yep. Cheers to that. I'm setting it back down. Well, coming up here on today's <laughs> show, we're going to be talking about the toughest monster truck tour. Stick around for that.